what's up guys, Zelda1 here, bringing you guys another Call of Duty World War 2 video, and today I'm bringing you guys brand new gameplay for the new Occupation map that just came out in the new DLC 1 Resistance in Call of Duty World War 2. Now in today's video, I'm going to be discussing basically my overall opinion of the map, how you should play it, a guide, and basically how the map ranks out of all the other maps that came out in this DLC. But before we get into that, if you could drop a like button down below, and comment what other things you want to see from this Resistance DLC from this channel, as well as subscribe for more Call of Duty content, that would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, let's get right into this. So first things first, what is this map? Occupation is actually a remade map, and it basically puts you in the streets of Paris during German-occupied France during World War II. Now basically, this has you fighting through storefronts and homes and all this other stuff with many different positions for ambush and recovery. That's, that's basically the brief description they gave us. Now, here's my opinion of it. Basically, this map is very close quarters, the mid-range, which has a couple long-range sections. Now, as you see through the gameplay here, it is very in your face, but I, I use the PPSH. I personally love this map right now. It is one of my favorites. I play Hardpoint, and this map is so good for, like, if you like to play methodical or fast-paced enough, there's enough cover. You can judge spawns well. There's some good long-range, you know, lanes from two parts in the middle of the map, as well as some good flanking routes on the outside, which makes this one of my favorites. Now, the one thing about this map that I think is a little bit weird is the spawns, because the spawns can be kind of finicky, and I think can be really trappy. For example, if you look on some of the parts of the map as you see me running through it, people can spawn in those corners and the far back four corners. Those are the really only spawn points that are in this map. And basically, as you play through Hardpoint or TDM, basically the game will rotate it. So once you know those four corners, it's very easy to get kills in this map. I, I started playing this more, and as you see right now, Hardpoint, the Hardpoint spawns are pretty good right now. I really like it. But the one thing I, won't, I am going to say that I don't like about it is that of how easy it is the head glitch. There are a lot of head glitch spots in this map as well as places where you can just camp behind a car or camp behind a thing and barely have your head up and then just completely obliterate the person in front of you. Which I think is for all these maps because, you know, it's the French Resistance, it's in Paris and buildings, you have to expect that. But for me, I think it's a little much. Um, I hope maybe they can change the health regen. I think that's, I think the, that's the biggest thing that's stopping these maps from being great. It's just like the weird health regen and a little bit of the hit detection in some of the things in this map. As well as just the map hack in general are a little finicky. But, you know, it'll be a work in progress. Now, moving on to basically how I rank this map out of all the maps. Out of War and Anthropoid and Valkyrie... I'm going to rank this map number one, and there's a reason for that. First of all, Anthropoid and Valkyrie, I've, I've played so far, you guys will see more gameplay from those from this channel soon, Um, you'll see why, but for me, like, those maps don't really get to me as much. Occupation, it's like it's bright and dark, and it's just the way the map flows is good, it has good flow. Now, when you go into this match, what should you be trying to do? My opinion is the best thing to do is to hold mid. Holding the middle part of the map is very crucial. Now, there are different spots you can do to have an overlook on mid, as you'll see. But for me, looking through the middle part of the map and going kind of like the buildings surrounding it, kind of middle, and holding down the larger lanes are really good. Now, what weapons are really good for this? I think the best weapons for this map are the PPSH, the STG, the Volkschgewehr, and then basically the, everything else is the toss up. Um, this, you can, you can snipe on this map pretty well on the large lanes if you know what you're doing, and you're able to hold the left and right flanks. Um, you can basically use any weapon, but the best weapon I saw being used right now is the STG and the PPSH, and obviously the Volkswagen. Now, if you can use those weapons perfectively and conservatively, I think that's the best way to play this map, is conservative. Because once you go running gunning, which you can do in some parts of this map, it just turns into a cluster. Now, that's what I love about this map. It has its slow parts, it has its fast parts, it has its medium parts, and all of a sudden, I'll just die. Like, there's times when, we, as you'll see in the gameplay, like, it just dies. There's like five or six players in the map, just dies completely. There's not even a gunshot. And the next one, just, it completely ramps up. It's really weird how it flows, but I love it. It's so, like, it's just refreshing to have a map that flows well and have you those things, helps you, you know, take, take a breath and like, like, okay, now what? You know, like, you play the other maps like Ardennes Forest and, you know, London Docks, and there's no place to take a breath. And me, that just always annoyed me because it took away from, you know, Call of Duty. These maps remind me of Call of Duty again. This reminds me of, like, the whole MW3, MW2 maps, even some of the Black Ops 2. And I like this kind of Call of Duty, and I'm happy they made these maps again. This mid-range combat, as they describe, is just what we needed, and that's why I love it so much. I mean, I can use a PPS. I can use an STG, I can use whatever gun I want on this map, and I can do very well. Now, basically, here's a guide on how to play this. Now, I basically gave you a guide already, but this is how I would play it. Where you spawn, go on the outside part of the map. Maneuver on the outside part of the map, and once you think it's clear enough, 
rush mid. Especially if you have, I think you're capable of doing it. Go on the outside to make sure no one's going to flank you. Then just charge the middle part of the map. It works really well. As well as sometimes even holding mid. Either do that or hold mid. Don't try to be the person that's going to try to go running gun back and forth on the map. Try to walk through the corners. That's a good tip right there. Walk through the corners on this map. Because... Like, it's weird, like, these, these corners are perfect for walking through them, because they're kind of slanted in some spots, like a, like a slab's cut out, it's, it's kind of hard to describe, but you can able to walk around corners in mount sites fast, and running and gunning on this map, unless you're in mid, it doesn't make sense, and I think that if you play the map like that, you can do really well. Now, another tip I want to give on this map is basically running and gunning within the middle part. You can run and gun like crazy, well, like a chicken with its head cut off in the middle of the map. Once you see the outside part of the map, you're like a outsider looking in. It, it's a bubble, basically. The middle part reminds me of a big bubble. And the outside parts of the map are kind of like your kind of stay away from there. I don't know if I want to touch it kind of things. So, like, if you play this map like a bubble and say, okay, outside's the no zone, inside's the good zone. Or if you're on the outside, try to keep people in the middle so you can constantly shoot at them, drop high score streaks. And if you can do that, you're going to really like this map. Now, I'm going to rate this thing out of 10 real quick before I let you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay here. I would give this thing an 8 out of 10. An 8.5, actually. And that's because I like this map personally. And I hope you guys again kind of enjoyed this rambling. I kind of want to just give you, like, that one-on-one, -on -one, my own opinion of these uh, videos. Because I don't want to be the whole, like, hyped-up person about this because all oh, these new maps and say they're good when they're not. This is my own opinion of this game and my own opinion of these maps so far. And right now, I think it's really good. Now... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below and comment what you thought. As well, subscribe for the more Call of Duty gameplays coming out soon. I have Anthropoid and Valkyrie coming out soon, so we hope you guys are ready for those. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the gameplay.